Hello, retro junkies. Um, this is Chad. I uh, got you a little pickup video. Went to my favorite game store last weekend, the Game Room Trading Post in Malvern. Um, Mike is an Mike is a great, great guy. Um, you can pick up just about anything when you walk in. If you're into anything retro, you're gonna fall and kiss the ground. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you that right now. ColecoVision, Intellivision, um, Atari, any kind of Atari. All kinds of systems. He's got boxes lining the walls that you just drool over. Um, action figures, Star Wars figures, classic Star Wars figures. Um, Hot Wheels and, and anything. You know, game memorabilia, whatever. Uh, great, great store. Um, anyway, if you are ever that way, uh, I mean... You can see the store on Game Chasers when they go through Arkansas on their way to MAGFest, or on their way back to MAGFest, rather. Um, anyway, check that one out. Here we go. Shadowgate. NES. Great game. It's a point and click. Anybody who's into the 80s point and clicks, you know. Bad dudes. I, uh... I blame Mike Kelso in them on this one. Two dudes in an NES. Uh, yeah, yeah, I blame them. And, uh, and also, um, also Arcade, uh, No Quarter podcast. Um, you know, they did a deal on it. Great little, I don't know. It's so bad it's good if you get that one. Double Dragon 2. Great little game. Wrath of Black Mana. Gunsmoke. Time Slip for any yet. I mean, for Super Nintendo, I mean. James Pond. Drew McCoy. Why do y'all write on the cart? Stop writing on the carts. Get a label or something if you're afraid somebody is going to steal your game. Just saying. The Goonies 2. Justice League, great little fighter, um, you know, say what you want to about it, it's pretty good. NARC, can never have enough copies of NARC, I kind of pick that up whenever I can, just one of those games. Jackal, uh, you can see how I feel about this one on my 25 cheap NES games, great, awesome game. All right. Dreamcast Sonic Adventure 2. Great little um great little game. Um it's not your typical uh Sonic. It does have, you know, the 3D thing going on for it. You know, save the world or conquer it. You know, you can do what you want to do with that, but awesome soundtrack and great gameplay. Resident Evil Code Veronica. I love this game. Um, yeah, I will gladly pay $10 for that, so that's just me. Armada. Armada. Oh, my gosh. I am so excited about Armada, and it was so cheap. It was $5. Um, it is kind of a RPG-ish kind of space shooter thing. Um, you know, you have your smaller ship, and they are all named. Uh, you can upgrade your weapons and that kind of thing. Uh, check this out. Do, a, do you have what it takes to defeat the alien armada? Play simultaneously with up to four of your friends to blast the alien hordes in this action RPG world. Use the VMU to store information about your newly acquired technology and skills. Invite your friends to bring their ships to come fight in your game or just to trade items that you have found. You travel to alien worlds and solve the mystery of the Armada, wage war against a vast army of over a hundred unique aliens. Grow in power forever as you fight an enemy that evolves in response to your actions. Oh man, I am so excited about this game. I cannot say how much. Um, you know. Star Lancer, it was five dollars. Um, I am big into space shooters. I did not really get into the gameplay. I got into, I got the cutscene and all that just to make sure it works. And then I got, I wanted to see if the rest of the stuff works. I'm kind of a fan of doing that like the same day or next day. Um, anyway, 
I intended to come back to it, but then I got stuck on Armada. So anyway, uh, check this out. It is kind of like a first-person uh, spaceship game. You do get to choose different kinds of ships, um, whether they be light or heavy or whatever like that. You know, from Aaron and Chris Roberts, the award-winning designers of Wing Commander, comes a game beyond the reaches of your imagination. Battle for control of the galaxy as a member of the Elite 45th Squadron, or take on your friends in epic multiplayer death batch battles. With every hour, the coalition grows stronger and the fall of the alliance is at hand. Fight for freedom. The 45th wants you. You know, um, choose from more, from more than a dozen ships and over 20 devastating weapons. The Star Lancer 3D engine provides unparalleled fluidity of gameplay, online gaming for up to six players, dynamic missions influence the central storyline. So yeah, you know, um, it does have that online thing. So, you know, anybody online tomorrow, check it out. <laughs> you know. Uh, anyway, cool little deal here. Oh, here we go. All right, guys. Um, I was so incredibly excited to find this. Uh, as you can see, the memory card is already in there, and I have been partaking. Um, I got me a few extra memory cards just because of the sheer amount of RPGs I play. So, you know. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Check that out. And let's see what I was playing. I do not remember. Let me see, what was I into? Probably like Final Fantasy VIII or something like that. Oh, it wasn't Final Fantasy. Ah, oh, PlayStation takes so long to load. I'm so spooled. Oh, Legend of Dragoon. Awesome. Great little game. Check that out. Fantastic soundtrack and all that. Anyway. <laughs> also, I got a package from Rob Bluther. Uh, my buddy, the head honcho at RetroJunkies.com, along with Landon. Uh, great guy, great guy, good friend. Um, anyway, he sent me a Sega game. NHL 94. Uh, ah, come on. A couple of packages of turtle cards. Incredibly stoked about that. I didn't know these were coming. Um, he had told me about the other, but he did not tell me about this one. 11 cards plus a sticker. I'm extremely excited about those. Thank you so much, dude. And an original Donnie, not the um, not the re-release ones. Original Donnie, check out the straps and all that. Oh my gosh, I am so stoked, man. I mean, out of everything I have, I think um, I'm pretty excited about this one. So you know, thanks, dude. Have a good one.